Hi folks and welcome back to some more Ultimate General Civil War. I apologise for not being around for the last few days, or the last week and a half. I, I got absolutely floored with Covid and since the last video I thought I was going to recover quick. I didn't. I've just been utterly exhausted. You can probably hear that my, my voice isn't right yet. So uh, we're hopefully going to get back to normality pretty soon. I am going on holiday on Thursday for a week but other than that I should have some videos up for you to watch uh, but hopefully once that is over we're, we're back to normal and uh, also something exciting I'm going to be along with one of my friends raising money to to buy an ambulance and we're going to drive it and deliver it to Ukraine in September but more on that to come in the near future that's I'm really excited to be helping out with that and uh, I, I can't wait so uh, we're going to have videos talking about that but you're going to hear a lot more about that over the coming weeks anyway we're looking at the Battle of Chickamauga here. This is the 18th of September, 1863. This was in, was it in Tennessee or was it in Northern Georgia? I think it's in Tennessee, this, or it's, it was in that area anyway. But this map never, it's never easy to see where this is anyway. So that's the story behind this is this is, a, this is what they call a Western theater battle. After Gettysburg, things in the East quite and right down because both armies were really battered. Uh, Lee was licking his wounds, and Meade was. Uh, he, Meade could have gone on the offensive and probably really heavily defeated Lee's army in Northern Virginia, but didn't. Um, for whatever reason, caution, timidity, uh, lack of preparedness, the Union army was also battered, so maybe all of those things. So we shift our focus over to the West because there's not a lot going on over there. And the Union think that they can push a couple of corps against Braxton Bragg's Army of the Tennessee here, except, unbeknownst to them, Lee's dispatched Longstreet with his entire corps from the Army of Northern Virginia because there's not much going on over there. Battered corps, I should say. He was heavily battered at Gettysburg. Uh, and he's going to turn up here and fight at Chickamauga. And this is going to be one of the bloodiest battles in the Western campaign, without a doubt. Let's jump in. We should get a bit of history about this. It's worth reading up. This is another terrible battle, as many of the Western theatre ones really used to be over, as you can see from this map, heavily wooded terrain, a lot of it confusing terrain, and that causes a lot of confusion on the battlefield, and it's a mess. Anyway, we've sent two corps to drive off the Confederate Army of Tennessee under General Braxton Bragg from Middle Tennessee. That's where it was, okay. General Bragg withdrew without giving a fight, possibly because his army was under strength. In early September, we renewed our offensive and attempted to encircle and trap Bragg in the city of Chattanooga. Bragg again retreated without fighting us, but he seems now determined to reoccupy Chattanooga, which has a large strategic importance because of its train station. It was like a communications hub, basically. It was an important rail junction. As we followed Bragg's army south, our scouts have reported that he received strong reinforcements from Virginia. Okay, so they know about this. Concentrate his army and marches to attack us while our forces are divided. We must delay his advance, assemble our army and retreat in one body to Chattanooga via the Lafayette Road. So in the actual battle that, uh, that resulted, we'll put first corps in the vanguard, second corps as tomorrow's reinforcements. No, let's switch those around. Let's switch those around. Let's have first corps arriving as reinforcements, second corps. because I think first corps fought in the last battle, so let's jump in. We're chasing Bragg's army who's withdrawing south. Our army has been divided to pursue and surround him. Elements of our army are moving down this road. This passage. Let's look at the woodland. Look at the woodland. That is deep and dense. And on the road that leads to Lee and Gordon Mills. Here the bulk of our army will rendezvous to head north to Chattanooga. I don't think it's going to work out as planned. We'll use the Lafayette Road to manoeuvre, so we have to secure it. Giving us quite a lot of context to what's going on. This is also a large area to cover with one core. Go up this section of McDonald's Farm. Oh, up to this section of McDonald's Farm. Okay, so we need to secure the road. Scouts have reported that Bragg's army is coming from three main directions and will soon cross the Chickamauga Creek from Reed's Bridge. Yeah, I think that might be where we have the first contact with the enemy. Alexander's Bridge and I have a feeling there's something going on down here in the south Dalton and Thedford Fords we must delay before you can reach the Lafayette Road today okay so are we the army of the Cumberland has sent mounted troops to assist us Minty's cavalry is being dispatched to delay the Confederates seeking to cross Reed's Bridge they will cross the bridge in about an hour that doesn't sound like a lot of troops up there 
We've got stuff holding the middle. Alexander's Bridge is guarded by Wilder's Lightning Brigade that's fully armed with Spencer rifles. Okay, Spencer repeating rifles. That's something that we can't afford for our troops. So it'd be nice to see how these work, although these are small brigades. We must delay the rebels for about two hours here. I mean, the Spencer repeating rifle was um, a very effective piece of kit in the fact that it could churn out a lot of shots in a very short space of time. So the question is, do we, do we hold these? Do we hold these? The cover count is 100%, so anything that wants to cross here is probably going to take quite the, the battering, I would, I would say. They're in decent cover there as well. And then, are these all with the Spencers? Nice, very nice. And then we do have a brigade in reserve. When we don't have any artillery down here, and that's a shame. So we're on quite a restricted map here. And I think the idea is just to try and hold off the rebel advances as much as possible. If they're going to come from across that bridge, we're going to put our artillery here. Actually, what are they? What are they? 14 pounder James rifles. Mm, I'm, I'm going to put them here maybe, or, and then they are in cover there, but I would suggest that we go right up to this and we hold this. What are you armed with, by the way? Spencer rifles. We've all got them. And we're going to see if... Because if we can shoot them coming over bridges, that's, that's one of the best situations you can be in. We don't really want to sit behind a fence while they take cover in the woods and then come and shoot us and flank us out. That's, that's not optimum. Not, not in my eyes. So what we need to do is wait. Oh, we do have artillery down here. You're not in any cover whatsoever, which is a shame. We have one bridge to cover. I tell you what, I'll put them in the the wheat fields over here. And they're armed with 14-pounder rifles. Okay, so they're, they're pretty heavy guns. They're not something that we've used in the campaign. I do have a battery of them, but I think they're in fourth core. So I've only been able to buy about four of them. So we don't have a lot of experience of these but I believe they're supposed to be decent with a decent range. So we shall, we shall see. At the moment, we are seeing absolutely nothing. And whilst it is tempted to maybe put some, oh, we could put some skirmishes out. We could put some skirmishes out for vision. We'll just put them in the, in the wheat down here. Do you know what? I should probably do the same over here. Have skirmishes out. How far can I get up to this and still be on the edge of here? We are, it's late in the day, so. Okay, we are well covering that bridge from there. So what we want to do is just put those guys up there. And then we've got slightly, slightly flanking fire into them. Anything that comes over there. Right, we just need to see if the Rebs want to show up today. And I don't know what to think. I don't know whether to think yes. Or no, because I don't really want to have to meet some big rebel divisions with just some lightly armed cavalry. But we shall see what we get. I've got this running at full speed. I mean, if, at the moment, it doesn't look like there's anything coming to even chat up. Oh, we've got something. We've got something. How heavy is this? Okay, two big divisions coming to steam straight at us. Um, I'm happy to let the skirmishers try and shoot them on the bridge. The artillery should be should be raising hell any minute now. They've got nice targets in front of them. Are they blocked? No, here we go. Okay, first blood. Side down 30 men with that volley. That's that's quite a lot, but then we've got like such a such an easy target ahead of us. We can't quite reach the bridge. And those, I don't know if they're any use whatsoever over there because the only way anything's coming over here is straight across that bridge. We do have skirmishes covering it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right, what we need to do is a bit of counter battery fire. Which rifle guns should be quite decent at. Let's see if we can knock some out. They can shoot across the riverbank. But they can't afford this, this is too deep. 
at least it's my belief that they're too deep. I haven't tried to march anything across. However, we've got like a full brigade sitting over there. A full division, rather. Walker's division. Minty's cavalry passes Reed's bridge and still tries to delay the Confederate army. Oh, is that... that's not... Okay, 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 so we've got more stuff going on over here. Uh, let us dismount. And we've got some reserves here, so we'll put those guys in there, dismounted. I'm guessing these are all... No, these, these aren't the big car, but they're, they're the repeating jobbies. That's a shame. Okay. I don't see anything. Well, they, they tried. They've, they've stepped onto the bridge. I don't think the range of our weapons is... Does it tell us? Effective range 300. So we will be outranged by whatever rifles they have. So I want them to, to cross the bridge, or at least try to. Are we... How are we doing with that? Well, we are hitting the artillery, so that's good. Good. That's some good work. Because if we knock the artillery out, they have no option but to come over the bridge if they want to attack us. Oh, we've seen the first enemies over here. Oh, that looks like that's going to be quite the killing ground, doesn't it? Well, they're sneaking across there. That's just a mad charge, in fact. Wow. Okay. This is where we have to hope everything else can flank them nicely. We'll just put 3,000 men straight across the bridge. And I suspect they're going to... Nope, something's routing. Something's routing. It's because we've got them in the flank. I mean, we, we took casualties, but, I mean, we've, we've chased them off. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. Keep up that fire. Do not fall back. Do not fall back. Back into position. Do not want to get those guys over there. Uh, 50, okay, 123rd Illinois on the retreat back a little bit. We want them stuck on that bridge for as long as we can possibly keep them there. I'm tempted to try and bring the artillery right up close. Try and get canister fire off. Okay, so we've got we've got cavalry, we've got skirmishers. We don't want to get too close, I guess. I better have a look at what's going on down here. They are attempting to go. Okay, they've driven off the skirmishers, which is a shame. But if they want to come across there, and they it looks like they are, we're doing some good work against the enemy artillery down there. Right then. It's time to hit these guys on the bridge. Oh, 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 okay. This, this looks bad. This looks bad. Turn, 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 turn. On the double. Yeah, the artillery's just routed. Unsurprisingly. Damn. So they've got cavalry across an unwatched crossing somewhere. They're going to make another go. I suspect they are going to actually be successful at some point. No, that's, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That is fine. You guys, into the trees, on the double. You just... You just shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. I think we can turn the cavalry away. If there's any melee cavalry, that's a different matter, but... This should be fine, and I should have had those. Ah, I didn't know that was coming. I didn't know that was coming. There's nothing much I could have done. All right, you rejoin your unit. These guys are going to try and... It looks like they've made one attempt at coming across and failed. Which is fine. This might be considerably more effective, though. Oof, canister fire going in there. Maybe not. <laughs> I was a little worried about that, but it's looking a lot more successful. Okay, do not 
lose those position skirmishers. You guys want to be right on that flank down there, look. And we need to just be just chasing off the enemy cavalry on this side. We're doing well for the, the first um, engagement of the battle. Greg's brigades come right in close. Ooh, we've got some artillery there. They're routed. Okay, let me bring the guns up. Just to see if I can advance a little bit here. Ammo's low, that's okay. I think we're going to hold our positions. I think it's looking quite sustainable. We've lost a few... Yeah, we've lost a few artillerymen, but it's okay. The rate of fire of these guys... Yeah, they're, they're all getting good kills. I'd be tempted to just put that lot on there and run them in. We have another charge across the bridge. Only I had some ammunition. Well, I don't think they're going to get across that bridge. And they're going to be weakened for tomorrow, which is excellent news. Okay, so we've brought another regiment in place. They should be able to <laughs> get some withering fire into the flank of... Looks like Gowan's brigade there. I mean, they are trying. They are trying their best. Oh, we've got... This This might be a problem. This might be a problem. I think we can actually get up and just go and shoot those. Let's see if we can bring in some more skirmishes over here. Or cavalry, I should say, in this case. Um, I think we can probably get some more shots onto that artillery battery, wedged as it is at the side of the map there. Greg's Brigade coming in, I think they're going to instantly fail. We've chased off the skirmishers, the cavalry's doing great. Oh, we are surrounded here. It's the cavalry, it's the blasted cavalry. Into the woods, quick. That's interesting, an enemy brigade has broken through our lines, that shouldn't be a thing. Delay them at the river passages? Where does it consider the river passages? Dalton's and Thedford's fords have breastworks prepared by our mounted infantry. Your troops must occupy them and hold the fords against the enemy. Bragg cannot be allowed to capture all the bridges here before nightfall. Our understrength forces will be forced to retreat prematurely. We hold at least one bridge. We can counterattack tomorrow fully reinforced. Um. Oh, it's okay. We have troops here. I was looking at this thinking, how am I going to get troops from over there? But it's clearly not a, not a, not a problem. Who have we got then? We have got, we've got our guys. These are our guys. Excellent. Excellent. So we're going to have one lot in there, but we're going to go at the double here and we're going to run these in. Blake's Brigade. And run. And then we've got Barge's Brigade who will come up in reserve. And the Fire Dragons can also go in reserve over here. I won't run those guys in. But we will bring Grant. Is he coming on with his entire core? He won't be. I'm fairly sure he won't be. But we should be able to hold those bridges. Uh, we do have a bit of a, a nuisance problem in that uh, there's enemy cavalry at our backs here, but that's okay. I think this is gonna this is gonna hold. What we have to worry about. I feel kind of bad for the enemy going across these choke points here. What we do have to worry about is enemy forces and enemy infantry force coming at our backs here. I feel like this has been taken care of and I'm very tempted to, to bring some cavalry over. Now, how much of a mistake is this going to be? Let's, let's find out. Yeah, the big issue is what's in there, and we will have to turn to face it. Let me put some skirmishes out so we can maybe see what the hell's going on across there. Oh, excellent. We've got, um, we've got big rifle guns, which is superb. Let's make sure that we've got them on a hill over here. 
Grant's coming down, the Fire Dragons. We've got the Prince of Wales Volunteers, which is excellent. I'll, hmm, I don't think we're going to need them down there. Bratley Zwarves. Oh, welcome to the welcome to the, the battle. I might put the Prince of Wales over here because this, yeah, this this is what I'm worried about. So, and these guys outflanking these guys. That's that's my concern. As yet another big force comes up. I think this is fine. We've got them in a fairly solid position there. Ammunition is a concern. I think we can say it's a, a fair... Whoa, 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 what have I just clicked on? What have I just clicked on? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do that. That would be a terrible mistake. Okay, so we've got the Prince of Wales volunteers coming up. This is excellent. They can go into the woods and they can skirmish alongside that. Do I want to bring down some dragoons? Do you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to leave one lot here. And I'm going to try and bring the others down. We might get some vision on what's going on. There's clearly a crossing here. There, well, there's two crossings. Then, oh no, that's ours. This might be where stuff's coming across. So it might be something that we need to be concerned about. It's a shame we're running out of ammo. Right, I think this is an opportunity here to get some good kills on Wilson's brigade. We've found something. Right, dismount. And get on that job. Yeah, I think I probably did the right thing here by not withdrawing because ammo is going to be an issue at some point and they might try and rush in and melee. So we're just going to have to stand our ground there and, and fight. Let's bring these guys in. I don't really want... We've spotted some cavalry. Well, we're going to have to deal with this one way or another. Volley fire. Are we ready? Give him a volley. Come on, Prince of Wales volunteers. Oh, this is melee cavalry. Eee, that's not what I wanted to see there. However, we're in the woods, so... It's okay, we should be at the advantage. We took a volley from these guys, sadly, which is a terrible shame. This, look at the bodies on the bridge. Not the first time in this war that bridges have turned into uh, slaughterhouses like that. It's just a very strong position. It is hard to force a bridge in those circumstances. Right, excellent. Do we need to be in position to try and see what's going on here? You guys, fine. Do we, do we have any clue? We've got reserves, so... We should be okay here. I don't see anything trying to force the issue. And of course, we've got some big old 10-pounder rifle guns protecting the Ford here, so... Unless something were to try and force its way through here, I think we're fine. Can we get them? Can we get more of them? We're not being terribly successful shooting those guys down. Right, I'm going to bring these guys in. Try and get these from behind. This is a very sort of... Um, unfair fight, I think. I don't think we're doing terribly, terribly well here. However, if we can come down and start sniping away at the back of Wilson's Brigade now, I think we're golden. I have to hope that these lot all hold out. It would, a fresh division coming across could possibly force their way across here, as my guys would be low on ammunition. But uh, it looks like Wilson's men aren't really even in range to engage here, which is quite a surprise. What have we seen? Little's division marches to secure Alexander's bridge. 
This is something new, is it? It is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is anything coming? There is something coming from the south. Dog meat's men are standing firm and facing them down. So that's that's good news. I'm just going to put Barge's brigade of skirmishers out on the flank over there. And are we going to see any artillery? I'm tempted to put these guys in. Actually, let's let's leave you there and let's put skirmishers in. Because skirmishers can be incredibly effective and quite handy on these flanks as well. There's definitely a sign of enemy guns somewhere, but I don't see them. But they see me. <coughs> Never mind, we can cause some mayhem out there, so we're good. We're good. Barge's men aren't taking casualties, so that's good. That looks solid. I don't think that's going to fall. I don't think that's going to fall. Nice. We've actually managed to, to route these guys, so that's, that's good news. Now, I saw some mischief going on over here. Did we take... Oh, I think we took an absolute pasting there. I think we took an absolute pasting. I'll send them in on foot. Wow, okay, there's a brigade managed to get across. Smashed. Absolutely smashed. How are we doing? These guys have inflicted nearly a thousand casualties. Ooh, more if you can count the skirmishers. And Minty's men and the artillery themselves. Greg's brigade is just coming straight in. I mean, it's a brutal charge. It could eventually give way. It is quite possible. Once again, charging infantry brigades seem to be able to move faster than skirmishers. It makes no sense to me. We've seen them off, but... Well, we're doing okay. Come on. Come on, skirmishers, give them a volley. Hmm, it's a right raggedy fight there. We could do with some reinforcements, I think. We've got another broken brigade or two. I can't zoom in close enough to see the amount of bodies on that bridge, but that, that is gruesome. Just the firepower coming up here. These would be this would be awesome experience for our guys. But sadly. They're not our guys. What are you armed with? Sharps 1859. That's not a bad carbine. It just doesn't seem quite effective enough, does it? Give them a shot. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, I think they're going to get caught. And I don't think putting them on horseback at that point is going to help. It might, I don't know. Kind of need to, to flip in, turn these guys. We've got quite the force building up here. I mean, I, I want to see the casualties for the first day because I think this is going to be immense. Oh, we've got we've got guns. Knock them out. Blake's brigade has Blake. It's seen some fighting. They have definitely seen some fighting there. What's happening at this bridge? Dog meets men. They're they're putting up a good exchange. Very good exchange. I could do with more artillery down here. Nice. Keep that going. Uh, this is going to take an absolute pasting as it comes across here. If it even gets that far. Uh, Blake's men are doing good. They've got good weapons in there. I could run these guys along here and shoot them. I 
I think they've been driven off, so I think it's okay. We have another attempt by the enemy cavalry. Uh, you need to get back in here. Because we've got a brigade over and it's managing to return fire. So I don't think it's going to stay there, though. Come on, on that flank. Uh oh, this this is this is bad. This is bad. Can we get uh, this this guy routed? There's flipping enemy units just all over the place. Wow, they actually did make a charge on this, and it looks like they they actually contested this zone. Well, that is the danger, isn't it? It's it's big, tough, fresh brigades coming in, whilst your guys are all out of ammunition. That that is the risk. That's going okay over there. Uh, this is this is looking rough. Can I get these in? How close can we get? S something's broken there. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh. Oh, this doesn't look this doesn't look healthy. I mean, we are sort of inflating them a bit. Walthall's brigade. They've got another brigade right behind them as well. Broken Rebs coming down there. Right, turn around and shoot them. Turn around and shoot. We've got more cavalry coming in. This this isn't good. But from the woods, we can hopefully just keep chasing them off. We've got 24 minutes to hold. I mean, I, I think we're going to do it. Come on, give him a volley, give him a volley. This is what I'm, this is the bit I'm kind of worried about. They're retreating now, so let's turn around and shoot these. Yes, we get shot in the, in the arse a bit, but... They're also going to get shot in the arse one way or another. What about the, I should have some cavalry up here. Right, mount up and come down here on the double and help out. Yeah, we've got into a bit of a tight spot there. But if I hadn't got these men up here, then they would have been pressing against the back of these and that would have been risky. Very risky. Looks like our volunteers are on the retreat. Right, we're going to have to just dismount there, I think, and have a volley at something. Oh, have I mounted, I've mounted them back up? Okay. Well, I guess all, we, all we're really achieving here is to distract these guys for as long as we possibly can. And keep them off the rear of these troops here who are holding the line. We're going to hold this bit. This, this bit's solid. There's no way this is going to fall. Do I put Barge's men in? I don't think we can reach any of them. We've taken some casualties, but we've, we've given a lot better. If there's nothing there to shoot, I'll bring these guys over. Oh, this is looking bad. This is a bad place to be. How about my Dragoons? Do they get away? We did get away. We did a decent job as well. Well, what we've actually done is enable these guys to do an even better job, so... There's another attack coming in against this one. Clayton's brigade. Clayton's men are just shooting them up. I've moved the artillery out of the way to try and do more effect over here. I think it's uh, the end of the day. It's darkness. Proceeding to the next day. That was a good first day.